Hey, I'm Alice. I'm Chad. And this week, we're kicking off a series of new videos all about the Outer Banks. It's from a recent trip that we took, and the first town that we visited was Duck, North Carolina. Duck, North Carolina is a small seaside town. It's got about seven miles of private access beaches, which aren't very crowded compared to some of the other beaches in the Outer Banks. And it has a lot of really nice shops, a lot of good restaurants in it. And we spent our afternoon in Duck visiting the Duck Boardwalk. So the Duck Boardwalk is about a mile long from end to end on the sound side of the water. It's very peaceful water in this area. And for the most part, you can't even see this boardwalk from the street, so you kind of have to know where it is in order to find it. Most of the mile long boardwalk is a nature walk, but interspersed throughout along the coast, there's sections of shops and restaurants as well. And they have a lot of water sports there. They have several rental companies. You could rent jet skis, kayaks. They might have had a boat. I can't remember. Yeah, they did. Yeah. Um, so this, there was a lot of people doing this, and that looked like a lot of fun. I think maybe even paddle boards was an option. So that was something we saw a lot of. But even if you're not into water sports, it's just a gorgeous view to walk along the water of the Currituck Sound. So here you see the Kitty Hawk Kites Pier. That's one company that's actually all over the Outer Banks renting jet skis, boats, kayaks, etc. They also had a public kayak launch uh, once you get to the town park area. So if you have your own kayak, you can bring it and put it in there. Yeah. Much of the walk through the boardwalk is through forest area or marshes. And it's really beautiful. Both ends of this boardwalk have public boat slips where you can tie up your boat and get out and walk along the water. And here at one end, the boardwalk starts with these shops. This shopping area is known as the Waterfront Shops. And we actually went inside a number of these shops, uh, starting with the Duck General Store. So as you can imagine, there's a lot of souvenir shops, a lot of duck merchandise, but there are also a good number of specialty shops as well. You'll notice a theme here in the Duck General Store. There's actually a lot of ducks, a lot of merchandise related to ducks, but they also have typical touristy merchandise, souvenirs with Outer Banks and Duck North Carolina emblazoned on them. And here's one of the specialty stores. This olive and vinegar store had a ton of different flavored olive oils for home cooks or gourmet chefs. And they let you taste each one if you want to before you buy it. Jack actually tasted, I think, an orange one and a lemon one. And then they also had a lot of other good stuff in this store. There were jams and jellies and some seasoned packets to cook with. And the lady was really, really friendly. That was something I liked about olive of these stores they were they seem to be more kind of smaller mom and pop type operations and so the people were very friendly very talkative they would ask you where you're visiting from and tell you about the area she also had this really cute collection of kitchen items to serve uh, a lot of them themed to the outer banks this store we're about to go into is outer barks it's a dog themed store they actually made their own homemade dog treats here in the store. While we were there, they were making pumpkin flavored dog treats and the whole store smelled like pumpkin. It was actually an, an amazing smell. But in addition to treats and food and leashes and collars, they also have dog themed merchandise, pillows, Christmas ornaments, magnets, yard signs, artwork for the walls, all sorts of stuff. And if you aren't a dog person, they did have one section for cat lovers also um, with some cat merchandise. It was much smaller since it's a dog store, but they had some really cute stuff, slippers and socks and some artwork and things to sit on your desk. So really, really cute for animal lovers. Here's the building for Kitty Hawk Kites. And you can see there's a little boardwalk sign there. The boardwalk kind of goes around all the stores. This is inside Kitty Hawk Kites. In addition to running jet skis and parasailing equipment and boats and kayaks and everything else, they of course have kites. They're called Kitty Hawk Kites. Wide selection to choose from. 
And along the trail, we found this chapel. It is close to a church nearby, so we're guessing maybe they use it for outdoor services, probably for weddings, I'm guessing as well. It was really, really pretty right there on the water, and it had some outdoor seating as well as inside the chapel itself. Very picturesque place. All along the boardwalk, there's benches to stop, get a good view of the water. And as we go by stores, of course, a lot of them have flowers out. Here's one that had stained glass several points around the boardwalk. There's also these horses all over the place. So the Outer Banks is known for having a population of wild horses. There's several places on the Outer Banks where you can go and see the horses in person. So a lot of the buildings, including this boardwalk, have these painted, decorated horses, kind of as a nod to the wild horses of the area. Our hotel, several towns away, even had one of these horses in front of them, so you can see them kind of all over the place in the Outer Banks. They had a lot of t-shirt shops, which I love because I love getting t-shirts and clothes. This one had hats. It had some sort of your regular souvenir t-shirts that said the Outer Banks, but then it also had some really nice just general summer wear. I'm sure Jack loves my affinity for clothes shopping everywhere we go. Absolutely. So this is Super Wings, another one of the 37 or so stores where Alice bought clothing on our vacation. Uh, you can see the t-shirts, they've got swimsuits, towels, beach chairs. They also have a lot of housewares and decorations with Outer Banks theming to them. Um, so this is a, a very large store with a lot of different souvenirs. And outside on the boardwalk, they have a huge Super Wings Outer Banks chair you can get your picture in, which we of course did. Here we're going through the woods. The boardwalk goes through a lot of marsh area, wooded areas. And this is coming out to the kind of center of the walk near the park area where there is a fishing pier and you can also launch kayaks from this area here in the middle as well. And here you see an amphitheater. This is part of the town park that is in the center. They have a lot of activities and festivals here. They also have some picnic tables. You could come enjoy a picnic. There's public parking nearby. City Hall is right next door as well. And there's a playground around this area also. Now, one thing we were interested in in our visit to Duck is the Donut Wars. Everyone we've talked to about Duck either mentioned Duck Donuts, which we have been to before, or this place, Donuts on a Stick. So we wanted to try Donuts on a Stick, compare it with Duck Donuts, see which were the best. Uh, Alice, why don't you tell us about the experience at Donuts on a Stick? So I had never been to one of these. Like you said, it had donuts and ice cream and then a lot of candy and things. But I would say these donuts, I'm not really into cakey donuts. It's kind of what I would call this kind. But these were really, really good. So you can figure out any combination that you want. They have a lot of icing and drizzle and sprinkles. Here you can see they've put together some of their most popular ones just to help people like me who can't make up their mind when they're looking at this long list of ingredients. So the one we tried was a chocolate peanut butter, and you can see it right there, although we'll show you the fresh ones. They make them right there, right after you order. They're served up hot. They are on the stick, which I've never seen before, but they also give you forks to eat it with. And these were delicious. I absolutely loved them. It wasn't as cakey and as dense as I thought it would be, so I really liked it. They were delicious, served very hot and they're airy, really good donuts. But of course, we needed to eat some duck donuts to compare, so also on the same boardwalk there is a duck donuts, named of course, because it was founded here in Duck, North Carolina. Like I said, there's now over 50 of these stores that kind of spread out a bit uh, throughout the country, so we have been to duck donuts before, but when we went to it here on the boardwalk, it was closed. One thing we did not know, was that the Duck Donut stores on the Outer Banks all closed at either 1 or 2 p.m. This one on the boardwalk, we got there about 1.15. It had just closed. So our plans to compare donuts were foiled. So the next day, we're still in the Outer Banks. We find another location of Duck Donuts, and we do our taste test there. 
One interesting thing is that because of the current COVID-19 unpleasantness, uh, they actually have you place your order outside. You can go in and get it, but it kind of minimizes the time you spend inside the store. Once again, they're making hot donuts right in front of you. Um, they're dipping them, frosting them, adding sprinkles, whatever you've ordered for it. A lot of different flavors to choose from. We, of course, had to get one that was similar to the ones we tried at Donuts on a Stick. So we did get a peanut butter and chocolate one here. I think we also got a lemon frosted one. As you can see, there's a ton of Duck Donuts merchandise that you can purchase as well in the store. Alice, what do you think of Duck Donuts? So I liked these. I think the donuts on the stick were probably my favorite ones. These tasted a little more dense to me, a little more cakey, but the flavors were really good. And as far as the chocolate and peanut butter part, that part pretty much tasted identical. It was really delicious in both places. Yeah, so these were a little more dense. I liked them a lot. I agree with Alice, so donuts on a stick was probably slightly better during our taste test. But if you're craving a donut, of course, just go to the one that's the closest to you because they're both awesome. So that wraps up our visit of Duck, North Carolina. If you've ever been there, tell us what your favorite places are. Let us know in the comments. And I hope you'll click that subscribe button because, like I said, this is the first in a series of videos that we'll be doing on the Outer Banks. And you don't want to miss a single one. If you like this, I hope you'll give us a thumbs up. And we'll see you the next time we're traveling through.